you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends 6 inch Fantastic Four Thing figure from Hasbro. Now this figure will be sold as a Walgreens exclusive here in the United States. It is currently hitting overseas at places like Robot Kingdom. That's where I got this one. I don't have a release date on when it'll see release here in the US, probably in the next month or so. But again, I don't have a specific release date on that. Now this figure comes packaged in the same kind of packaging we see with all the Marvel Legends. You've got the black box with the Legend Series logo up at the top. The figure's clearly displayed. Down below, you've got the Fantastic Four logo and the name of the character. And I do want to say this figure is quite heavy when you pick it up. You know, it, it is noticeably more heavy than a regular Marvel Legend figure. So it definitely seems like a solid figure. On the sides, you've got some artwork for Thing, and it's the same on both sides. And then on the back of the packaging, you have a look at the actual figure and a brief bio in multiple languages. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with the other contents. Now, let me just say right off the bat, I think this is probably the nicest thing figure that we've ever gotten in six inch action figure form. The detailing with the rock and everything is incredible looking with this figure and the weight on it is great. But before we look at the figure in more detail, let's actually check out the accessories that come with it. And switching out these head sculpts is easy. You just pop off the one you want to replace and you got the ball hinge joint there and then you just pop on the one you want to replace it with. So this is the second head sculpt where he's gritting the teeth and everything and I think both look equally good on the figure. And then finally Finally, the figure comes with two different pairs of hands, so you get a pair of closed fists for punching things, and then you just get a pair of open hands. Uh, they're not really grip hands, but the fingers are open and everything. So it's a nice touch that they gave us, you know, two different pairs of hands. Definitely you would think the thing would come with closed fists, but I like the fact that they gave us the open hands as well. And switching out the hands is easy. You just pop off the hand you want to replace. You've got the peg on the hand and the hole in the arm, and then you just plug in the hand you want to replace it with, and it fits nice and tight. Now for the figure itself, again, I really like the detailing with all the sculpting with the rock and the wash effect with the darker and then I think they nailed the color of things rock pretty good with this kind of orange color that they used. So overall, you know, I think this figure looks incredible. I, you know, I'm not exaggerating when I say this is probably the best thing uh, figure that we've gotten from either Toy Biz or Hasbro. And you even have the nice detailing on the back. Um, so he is wearing the blue shorts uh, as opposed to like the longer pants that you sometimes see him wear. If I had any minor complaint, I would have liked to have seen maybe the Fantastic Four four symbol on his belt to match up with the other figures. You know, he, sometimes he has that and sometimes he doesn't. As it is, he just got the black belt on this one. I do have a little bit of blue uh, maybe that looks like it's washed on the black here but you know I think that actually looks pretty good so no complaints there and I like all the wrinkles and everything in his shorts so I like that you know even some nice detailing with that but otherwise you know he's just got all that rock skin and I, th I just think it looks incredible on this figure. So the thing here is a pretty good height he's about just under seven and a half inches and then I also you know he's very wide I think you know the thing tends to be wider than taller you know he's a big guy but he's not I don't really consider him usually a super tall guy so the thing here his width is about four and a half inches in width so and like I said the weight on this guy is really heavy so you know he's definitely a solid figure Okay, and here's a comparison finally of all four Walgreens exclusive Fantastic Four figures. So all four of these I think are great figures. I think this is definitely the best lineup of Fantastic Four figures that we've gotten and the Thing is probably the best of the four. And I think they all scale up nicely with one another. Thing is the tallest of the four. He's also the widest. Um, and so again, I think the scale works really well with these guys. Like I said before, my only minor complaint is I do wish they had included a four symbol on his waist to match up with the four symbols on everybody else. You know, the thing doesn't always have a four, a four symbol on his shorts, so it's not like it's not comic book accurate. I just, I kind of like it when they all have the four symbol showing. But as it is though, I think this is a great set and definitely glad to finally add the thing to it so I can round out the team. And then finally, here's a comparison with some other big dudes in the Marvel Universe. So we've got Luke Cage, which is about 
about the same height as the Thing figure, and then we've got the more recent comic book version of Hulk, and he is the tallest of the bunch. And I know some it's varied over the years, depending on who's drawing them and stuff. Sometimes Hulk and Thing are more of the same height. Uh, sometimes Hulk is taller. I think Hulk should be a little bit taller than Thing, and Thing should be thicker. So I think these two figures actually look very good t next to each other. And then finally, we have the Disgraced Thor, which again, I think scales up pretty good. I wonder if Hasbro is going to give us a modern Thor with the new gold arm and everything anytime soon. Okay, so articulation on this figure isn't bad, especially for a big guy. You can turn his head to the left and to the right, and he can look down a little bit, but you know, if you do it too much, you'll pull it off the ball joint, and then he can look up a little bit. Really, you can only look straight ahead. He really can't look up very much. You get a little bit of head pivot with this one, but not a whole lot. Now the arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joint there at the shoulder so you can get his arm out good. You've got good rotation there at the shoulder. He does not have a bicep swivel. Looks like he does but he doesn't. Only has a single hinged elbow so he can bend his elbow that much. And then he does have rotation at the elbow. You've got rotation with the hands and you've got hinges on the hands so you get good up and down movement. More down than up but pretty good movement even though the rock on the arm actually comes over the wrist a bit. And then you've got a midsection joint so you've got good pivot with that midsection joint. You can pivot to the left and the right. You can crunch forward a bit there, and then you can look back a bit as well. You've got a waist swivel with the legs. He can do the splits pretty good, and then you can get the leg forward decently, and he can do the leg out and back. He does have a thigh swivel. He's got a double hinged knee, so good bending there at the knee. And then with the feet, you've got hinge joints, so good up and down movement. And he does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. And also I want to note the joints are nice and tight on this figure, which is a good thing because again, this figure is very heavy. And if the joints were loose, he'd probably have a hard time standing. But he's a good solid figure and really have no issues with getting him to stand. Okay, so that's my review. Now, if you haven't been able to tell already, I love this figure. I think it's a fantastic figure. No pun intended. I love the sculpting detail with the rock. I think they nailed the color of Thing's skin. It, the size is great. I like the height and the width it's got a good weight and it fits in perfectly with those other Walgreens exclusive Fantastic Four figures so if you're a fan of this team I think you know and especially if you've been picking up the other Fantastic Four members you're definitely going to want to get this one now this figure will be released as a Walgreens exclusive here in the United States I don't have a specific release date but I'm guessing it'll probably be out by August it is currently hitting overseas and places like Robot Kingdom have had it in stock and that's where I got mine We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment and let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Also, hit that bell notification so you'll be alerted every time I upload a video. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch accounts. I have links to all those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.